Welcome back to Cape Chronicle. I'm Mike Rennick. Our first guest today is Katrina Amos. She manages the Cape Girardeau Regional Airport Fly CGI. Katrina, welcome. Thank you for having me. I'm so uh, glad to be here. How you doing today? Doing well. Got Th a lot going on. I, I was going to say, busy. yeah, thanks for taking some time out sure. to uh, join us today. And obviously a lot happening, uh, a lot on your plate right now. So we have a chance to talk about that and, and, and let uh, everyone know about the great things that are happening at the Cape Girardeau Regional Airport. And you're, you're newly rebranded, is that correct? We are. Um, back in 2019, and we kind of wrapped it up in 2020, we um, started working on a rebranding campaign. Fly CGI, you'll start to see that in all of our marketing materials, as well as the new projects, including the new terminal. We will feature that new branding in the new facilities. So you mentioned uh, the new terminal. Um, I actually just flew out of Cape uh, last week uh, on Contour, and it was flawless and perfect. So thank you so much for that. Awesome. Um, new terminal comes some, uh, in the summer of 2024? June of 2024. We should be wrapping that project up. I'm, I'm super excited about it. It's uh, currently underway. Um, recently just had the uh, concrete poured, and so we're getting ready to um, start with the steel uh, erection. So um, coming along. So coming along well? Coming along very well. Um, on November 3rd, we're expected to have a topping out ceremony. So hope you and uh, the community can join us and sign the beam that will go up. And um, from there, we'll be pushing forward pretty quickly with the rest of the project. Okay, so with the new terminal, what, what does that do for the region, for the airport? So the new terminal will, in my opinion, breathe new life into the airport. The current terminal that we're utilizing has served us well. It was constructed in the early 1950s. Um, it's had a couple of renovations, but it has served its life as a terminal project, uh, terminal building. Um, you know, it's small. It does not feature any of the amenities that you come to expect when you're flying out of a, a regional or larger airport for that matter. Um, so the new 20,000 square foot facility will provide those amenities such as uh, bathrooms beyond the security checkpoint. We'll have a service animal relief area, a family mother's room for nursing mothers, as well as a host of other amenities that um, we will be bringing to Cape Girardeau. So has this been a vision for a while and, and you were able to kind of finally get it to the table? So in 2018, we approached the city council regarding some of the needs that the, the airport has, some of the facility needs. Um, we've known for quite some time that some of our facilities needed rehabilitation and in some cases reconstruction. Um, so we started putting together a plan to um, first uh, try to rehab the new terminal or the current terminal, but we realized we really needed a new facility. Um, and so we started uh, putting together a plan, it's called a terminal area master plan, where it looked at the terminal as well as our fuel farm, uh, tea hanger needs, and a host of other facility needs. So what will happen with the current terminal right now? So the current terminal will remain. We are currently working on plans for it to have a new life and a new purpose. Um, the restaurant that's currently in place, Pilot House, is doing extremely well. And so we want to keep the restaurant there and, and just kind of breathe new life into that facility in a different capacity. So I mentioned before the, the flight that I took last week. Mm -hmm. uh, I know since the last time you were on this show, uh, there has been a, a change in, in carrier at yes. uh, Cape Airport. Contour uh, currently is, is that carrier. They've been, is it about a little over a year now? Yeah, they began October 18th, 2022. So we're just over the one year mark and uh, we're doing well. Uh, we were thrilled to be able to continue with a regional uh, jet provider. Uh, we have flights currently to Nashville, 12 weekly uh, round trips. And so it's going really well. Um, Nashville is a growing airport. They have a, a huge um, phasing plan that they're working on to, uh, to make their footprint larger and have more offerings from international flights and other domestic flights. Um, so we're really excited to be a partner with, with that airport and be on the ground floor of their growth. I think the, uh, the beauty of the Contour flight, and I may have this a little bit wrong, but I think it's a, it's a what, built as a 50-seat jet, but there's 30 seats in it, so it's extremely comfortable. And that it's like is quiet. Quiet. Yes, yes, 35 minutes in the air. Yes. Um, so, no, the, the aircraft, you are correct, they fly ERJ 135s and 145s, originally configured for 50 seats, but um, they are a Part 135 operator, so it was reconfigured to 30 uh, seats, so you kind of 
lot of leg room, which I can appreciate yeah, as a tall person. Yeah, you absolutely <laughs> do have a lot of leg room. How's, how's that been going? Uh, are you seeing uh, a lot of, uh, lot of travel? Uh, I, it's starting to pick up. Okay. You know, anytime you have a transition in air carriers, you know, there's going to be some, some transition. Sure. And with uh, SkyWest departing in 2022, um, through to unforeseen for, uh, circumstances, we had to pivot. And so Contour has been an excellent partner and we're super thrilled to, to work with them and continue to develop our air service. Talk a little bit about why jet service is so important to our region. Jet service is critical to our region. A lot of the improvements that we've made recently, the taxiway B uh, reconstruction, the new terminal, new T hangers, all of that wouldn't be possible if we hadn't become a primary airport in 2019. That is the catalyst for us uh, receiving airport improvement program funding to the tune of a million dollars. And so that allows us to um, have the capital that we need to be able to complete some of these uh, much needed projects. You mentioned uh, the taxiway, so that, that is complete? That is complete. And, and again, how, how does that boost the airport? So it, it boosts the airport in a couple of ways. For, for one, safety. You know, the current taxiway or the previous taxiway had um, kind of reached its end of life as well. And so we knew we needed to reconstruct it. Taxiway B was our widest, strongest pavement. And so it was important for us to be able to rebuild that um, to, the, to the same width, same uh, strength so we could handle the larger aircraft. That was important to us to not interrupt the support that we've been able to provide over the last, you know, since the airport's inception, right? Um, so it was critical for us to be able to rebuild that and CARES Act funding came in handy um, because without that funding, we would not have been able to reconstruct it the way that we did. So I know a lot of the construction is for the traffic at the airport, um, which is more than just you know, commercial service. I mean, that there's correct. Uh, so many other things happening at the airport. Yeah, I mean, I'll give you an example. When I started in 2008 and even as far back as 2017, um, we were averaging about 80 operations per day, which is a landing and takeoff. We're now averaging 250 operations per day. And wow. that's, uh, you know, commercial service, but that is in large part due to the uh, flight schools that we have. Uh, most notable, the professional pilot program, um, Southeast Missouri State University um, began in 2021. And that's going well. That's going extremely well. Now, you mentioned this before, before we wrap up, sure. uh, we like to talk about food. Uh, yes. Pilot House, uh, obviously uh, a, a favorite in Cape Girardeau. Yes. And uh, recently, obviously, their satellite location uh, with you guys, that's going good? Well, first of all, let's just talk about the name Pilot House. Yeah. I mean, it was just the perfect opportunity for us. And when we had a vacancy in our restaurant space, we knew that we wanted to partner with someone that had a lasting relationship that was unique to Cape Girardeau. We didn't want a chain or something you could find anywhere else. And so Pilot House is doing very well, and I encourage everyone to come out and check them out in their new location. All right, flycgi.com is the website? That is correct. All right, Katrina, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you again, Katrina. Up next, we're talking stormwater with Andrew Maurer. Stay tuned.